the Chinese language, the idioms Huolong Tianjin and Hua Shi Tianzu has the similar stories, but the opposite meaning. Huolong Tianjin literally means to draw the eyes to the dragon and has a positive connotation. At the same time, Hua Shi Tianzu means to draw the legs to the snake and has a negative connotation. Let's see why. The first story is about Huolong Tianjin. During the Lan Dynasty of Northern and Southern period of history, there was a famous painter named Zhang Sun Yao. His painting skills were so brilliant. So then, the Emperor Liang Wu Di, who believed in Buddhism and built a lot of temples, asked him to paint them. Legend says that one year, the Emperor Liang Wu Di asked Zhang Sun Yao to paint four holding dragons on the wall of Anton Temple in Jinlin. He managed to paint it in just three days and the dragons were drawn so vividly that they looked like the real dragon. After Johnson Yao's painting was finished, many people came by to watch it and they all praised the painting for being so realistic. However, when the people came closer, they noticed that all four dragons had no eyes. Everyone begged him to draw the dragon's eyes. But then, Johnson Yao refused and explained. It's not difficult to give the eyes to the dragon. But when the eyes are finished, these dragons will break through the wall and fly away. Obviously, everyone's thoughts were like, how can the drone dragon fly away? So all the time, everybody were just thinking that he was a liar. And not long after he refused to finish the painting, eventually he was forced to put the finishing touch on the dragons. On this day, many people were watching in astonishment in front of the temple's wall. In front of everyone, Johnson Yao picked up his brush and lightly gave the two dragons eyes. A strange thing happened for real. When he just finished drawing the eyes of the second dragon, Suddenly, there were flashes of lightning and thunder, and uh, the sky was covered with dark clouds, and a strong wind was blowing. In the sky, full of thunder and lightning, people saw two Finnish dragons breaking through the wall and walling into the sky. The dragon stood up, bared its fangs, moved its claws, and flew away in the sky full of fog and clouds. After a while, when the clouds and sky cleared, and people were stunned, they looked at the wall again and again, and there were only two dragons left, whose eyes have not been finished. And the other two finished dragons have disappeared. People derived the idiom Hualong Tianjin from the legend of Zhang Xin Yao painting a dragon, which is a metaphor for a speech or an article to praise the gift and to make the content more vivid. And now the story about Hua Shi Tianzu. Hua Shi Tianzu is about the story that happened in ancient times. Once upon a time, there was one family in true state offered sacrifices to their ancestors. After the ceremony was finished, they gave the remaining pot of wine to the people who helped them with errands. And there were not enough wine for everybody, but if one person drinks it, it will be more than enough. So because there were more people than the amount of wine, everybody started to discuss how to distribute the wine. Suddenly, one of them said, suggested that everybody should draw a snake on the ground and whoever draws a snake most quickly is going to get the pot of wine as a prize. Everybody thinks this method was good and agreed to do it. So everyone started drawing snakes on the ground and there was one man who drew very quickly and he finished drawing a snake in a blink of an eye. So after he finished painting, he picked up the jug of the wine to drink, but then he looked at others and they still haven't finished painting. He said triumphantly, it's not too late for me to add a few legs for a snake. So he took the jug of wine in his left hand and drew the snake's leg with his right. And while he was talking and drawing the snake at the same time, another man has already finished drawing the snake. This man immediately took the jug from his hands and said, have you ever even seen a snake? The snakes don't have feet. Why would you add feet to it? So the first man who finished the snake is not you, but me. The man lifted his head after speaking and drank the wine. Nowadays, this Chinese idiom refers to a person doing something that is not only unhelpful and unnecessary, but also inappropriate. The lesson of Hua Shi Tianzu is really worth remembering and it's very useful in Chinese language. Right now, let's learn how we can use these idioms. Hua Long Tianqing is used as subject, predicate, attributive, adverbal, and it's mostly used for writing articles. Hua Shi Tianzu is used as object and attributive. And in my experience, it's used mostly when describing somebody's actions are unnecessary and overdue. 
这部分内容写得非常精彩，起到了画龙渐进的作用。他本来就很啰嗦，画室监督也不意外。你去改动他的文章，真是画室监督。你这样做有点画室监督。Well, that's all for today. Write your examples with these idioms in the comments below, and see you next time.